Lebanon president calls for proclamation of secular state. This is huge. We're in big progress. Lebanon's president, Michel Anon, for the, uh, called for the proclamation of a secular state during a televised address to mark the upcoming centenary of the Lebanese state. Um, quote, I call for the proclamation of Lebanon as a secular state, Anon said during a speech after the enormous explosion at Beirut's port in early August and after months of deepening economic crisis. He said that such a state was, quote, the only way of protecting and preserving pluralism and creating real unity. Anon stated that he would call for dialogue, including uh, religious authorities and political leaders to reach, quote, a formula that is accepted by everyone and that would be embodied in the um, appropriate constitutional amendments, end quote. French President Emmanuel Macron also spoke of the, quote, constraints of a confessional system in the country's politics and how the system was hampering reforms. Um, so this is a really big deal after the, obviously it hasn't happened yet, but there's a big progress in the right direction. Um, if there is an amendment to Lebanon's constitution to eradicate the conventional, confessional system, that would be historic because Lebanon has been trying to find a way to balance the interests of its many different, um, ethnic and religious groups since its inception and um, has really not found a system that works for everyone from the very beginning. It's caused massive corruptions and um, damaged the life and the, the livelihood and quality of life of its citizens. Um, I could talk a little bit more about what the confessional system is or confessionalism would, is if people would like, if they don't know, but no, I'll no. let you guys go first. No, well, no, I think that's going to be, too much. I, I just want to clear, like, this is something I was just about to say, but in the live chat, I said, like, Hezbollah is going to care about such declarations. Like, that's what my that's what I was wondering about, too, okay? Because the main source of religion right now in uh, Lebanon's politics is Hezbollah, right? And they have all the guns, right? They have all the, they have all the force and they have all the armies. So I don't really know. I mean, this is a good move in the right direction. But how are you going to get Hezbollah and their Shia ideology not dominate over Lebanon's politics? Like, with, you know, you and what army exactly? But go on, Rivka. Well, uh, Hassan Nasrallah, who's the head of Hezbollah, um, right. he actually said on Sunday last mm -hmm. that he was open, quote, to the French proposal for a new political pact for Lebanon. Um, as long as he said there's national consensus. Now, what that means to Hezbollah versus what that means to other people may be something that is, remains to be seen. But apparently he's an ally of um, the president's um, organization. It's called, um, what is the name of it? Uh Oh, Aoun's free patriotic movement. So he apparently is an ally of this. And he said that, you know, Hezbollah says that they're, you know, they're willing to be open to it. Now, does that mean they're actually going to, you know, go along with it if it happens? I don't know. Um, he also, Nasrallah, didn't say, like, what kind of changes that they would be willing to consider, but he just sort of gave this very okay. broad. I know, don't. Yeah, we'll I don't think about it. Here's here's why I don't buy it. Basically, buying into it, like first of all, Hezbollah is uh, the entire Hezbollah is run by shared ideology, right? So for them to buy into a secular government, that would require them not being in government, right? And what are the chances of Hezbollah is like, oh, yeah, we have all the control. We have all the ar this army and all the resources and all the guns. But we're just going to we're just going to step back. We're just going to be like what I'm oh. saying. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. But just yeah. going to be like, OK, if I, I mean, unfortunately, they also have popular support. Like I know a lot of secular Lebanese activists, as much as I love the secular Lebanese activists and as much as I enjoy them, some of them want to sometimes deny. But 
I mean, even Christians vote for the for Hezbollah. Even Christians are supporting Hezbollah in Lebanon sometimes. So I don't. Uh, that is screwed up. So they 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 did get majority seat in parliament, right? Uh, they keep getting elect, you know, winning the elections and stuff like that. So it's a huge problem, and I don't think that, uh, given the support that they have, and given the power, the funding that they have from Iran, uh, from the Islamic Republic of Iran. And given all the guns that they have, it's just like it's like, it's going to be like a like yeah hey, yeah let's make a declaration and pretend like we're secular. Again, I'm not saying this is not good news. I mean this at least, so, I mean the good even if it's not going to happen, uh, I mean, this like we have for the first time like officials are you know coming out and declaring secularism like that's like great. So I'm hoping there's a push for it and maybe Hezbollah is maybe the okay let's look at this positively. Maybe they're so desperate right now because after after this explosion uh there's so much pressure on them that they just like want to give in to all the demands for reform right now but what what needs to be seen or what i'm suspecting is that it's going to be mostly a s- symbolic right now and as soon as the pressure is off of them they're going to be like psych you know i don't know something like this i don't know but uh we got five dollars super chat from haram bain thank you so much haram bain really really um generous haram bain is too generous but thank you but go, go on rifka uh, I was just going to say that Nasrallah is really being a politician here because he's just using these sort of open-ended words like, well, we're open to it. I might be willing to consider. We right. may be cooperative with the discussion. It has right. to be a consensus of the people. So he's not yeah. agreeing to anything and he's not, he's not allowing himself to be painted into a corner about anything. He's just using these very open ended sort of ambiguous I'll think very, about it kind of words. Yeah, know? he's not saying no, but he's never going to say yes either. Exactly. And then he's got this deniability. Well, I said I'd think about it. I said I was open to it. <laughs> I didn't say no. So, yeah. Yeah. That's very good. Rivka's takes are, you know, we should, you know, I don't, I don't say this enough, but Rivka's takes are so good. So good. Um, Haram Bain is saying citizens of Gotham, uh, Gotham, a gift from the League of the Shadow Apologetics to Atheist Republic. This is in regards to the $5 super chat. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, let me see. There were some other comments here. Susanna, did you want to add anything? Um. I think you all raised very good points about how um, the implications of this, right? That That's very important to bring up. However, I do think that um, an amendment to the Constitution to actually allow for true secularism would still be beneficial. The implementation of it, would you raise how it could definitely become messy, but I think um, actually allowing for true secularism, it would it'd be a step in the right direction. Yeah. And again, but again, another negative, you know, another pushback against that, Susanna, is what you lo- write on piece of papers in Lebanon is mm-hmm. not as enforceable as in countries like, you know, you know, some other countries like North mm-hmm. American or Western European countries, right? Sometimes you can say, yeah. Uh, UV saying Nas- uh, law can say stuff. Uh, the bottom line is that is he is getting his orders from Tehran. He is, and he admits he openly yeah. admits it. Uh, and he and he's the one calling the shots in Lebanon today. That's so Middle East uh, meaningless, um, meaningless declarations. Yes. Oh, we good, got a good point. Oh, we did. Okay, hold on. Let me just. Chris saying would would be a blast to flip the top of the Bible. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna leave this on while I go find the super chat. It's also by Chris. Where is that? Is it Chris? I can't find it. Oh, here there is. Okay, five dollar super chat from Chris. Thank you so much. Uh, say my name, Armin. I uh, can't wait to hear you, uh, Hindu, uh, you Hindu sure. God jokes. Oh, wait. once you go full firebrand, can't wait to hear your Hindu. Okay, hmm. I don't know. I need Rivka for the jokes. I'll do the blaspheming. I'll have Rivka here to help me with the jokes, okay? Say my name, I mean, okay, Chris, how do, I don't, how do you, Susanna, how do you say the last name? I'm not, Clements, Chris Clements. Cl- Chris Clements, okay. Thank you so much for the $5. By the way, uh, Chris, the, your $5 super chat is going directly into our sexy Hindu goddess funds. Actually, we're pretty close to $250 now, okay? So to 200, once we get to $250, we're going to have our first design 
in-house Atheist Republic design of Sexy Cali, much more sexually suggestive than we had than when we had at before, but much but classy and elegant, not their agritary in any way. Um, but yeah, that's coming out. So this five dollars is going directly to that. Well, I want to give Chris a shout out. So uh, here's a joke for you. I don't know what the Hindu's beef with Armin is. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Rivka, Rivka. You managed to get it in. <laughs> yeah, you, <laughs> Rivka was looking. Rivka was looking today for an excuse to get that in, right? He yeah. asked. I can't disappoint. <laughs> oh my god! Anyway, news. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has? What's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel. Why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button. But nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well and share, share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized. That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that, but we don't care about that anymore, <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized. What does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right and all that, you know, on the, on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. 